Hi everyone, Graham here, and I get asked a lot, how do I get my neat device into Microsoft Teams mode? So once it's fully available, we'll just follow these simple steps. So we have our touch controller, and we simply click on settings in the bottom corner, and we go to system settings. This now takes us into the neat settings, and we simply go to system, and we scroll down, and we choose reset. And that's it. That's how we reset the device into the out-of-box factory state. So as you can see now, it's going to reboot, and we will come back to that out-of-box experience. So now the device is reset, we simply follow the out-of-box instructions. So we continue, and we get to choose what we want to set up. So obviously we have the neat bar and neat pad, so we'll select continue. And look, obviously if this is an existing system, you can skip the mounting guide, and make sure we're on the network, which it should be. Choose our time, which should pick up from the time server, and then we'll find our device. We select the device and click continue. And then we get a little chime to say, hey, we are paired. So we select continue and anonymous analytics if you want. And here we are. We select our Microsoft Teams platform. So we select Teams and continue. So this will now deploy the Microsoft Teams application to the Neat Power and Neat Pad. So once the app is booted up, we are then presented with the login screens. So we can log in directly on the device. We can use microsoft.com forward slash device login, or we can use Teams Admin Center to remotely sign in. So I like to sign in using the browser uh, or a private browser if it's a resource account so it doesn't conflict. But because this is my account, I'm signing in with a personal account here, I will sign in with my normal browser because that's already got my Teams credentials cached. I like to sign in the bar first uh, because that can time out and you have to refresh the code. So we will do that first, and then we will go ahead and do the pad as well. You can keep the same browser window open. You don't have to close it. And now the pad is going to be signed in. So the bar is already signed in. If you had a touch screen, you could then straight away do a new meeting or join a scheduled call. Once the pad is signed in, remember we're using the same account for both devices, it's now looking for a companion device on the network, i.e. the bar. So we'll compare and use that as the controller. So I've got two devices here because my home network is busy. Usually you would have one device and the bar is ending in B1. So I select that device and then it will give me a pin number on the screen. So I simply enter that into the pad. And we are all set. Now, because we have reset this device, it might have changed from what you were using it before. So it's always probably a good thing to jump into the settings and into the device settings and make sure you have the camera set up how you want it. So we can go into system and we can Sorry, audio and video. We can make sure that auto framing is turned on. And then symmetry if you're using that feature. And again, also subject boundary. Are we using that correct boundary? So it only picks up certain elements of the room. And again, <clears throat> we want to make sure we have Bluetooth turned on. So there's a reminder. If you have a remote admin password, we need to turn that back on. So this must be eight characters. So I'm just going to make it very simple for now. And we want to make sure that we have the settings we want. So for example, Bluetooth. I want to make sure that is turned on so I can do things like proximity join. And we can then join a meeting. So we can join a test call and make sure that works. And there we go. We're in a call 
happy teaming. So Microsoft Teams on neat devices. Very simple and it will only get better over time. Thanks very much for watching.